Hello everyone, Christopher Beast here, and today I have yet another Vigor War video. This video is going to be a little different than my normal videos, as this is a theory video. So first, I'll admit, I don't know for certain that what I'm about to say is true, however, I do have a decent amount of evidence to support it. So, I believe that Norway was under communist control prior to the nuclear war. Now, you probably just thought, that's absolutely crazy. However, I would say there is enough evidence shown throughout the game that would lead me to this conclusion. The first piece of evidence I want to bring up is the existence of USSR tanks on certain maps. The two tanks I just showed you are definitely Soviet tanks, as we can identify them first as the BMP-1, a tank made in 1966 that was used as an anti-infantry tank by the Soviets. I must note here that the BMP-1 was also used by the Swedish, however it was not used by the Norwegian. The other tank is the T-62. This is a Soviet tank made in 1961, which was not used by the Swedish, unlike the last tank, and was the main battle tank of the Soviets, replacing the T-55. These two tanks show possible Soviet troops being in Norway at the time of the nuclear apocalypse, which did not occur in our real world due to Norway being a strong member of NATO. So could this have been the reason why the nuclear apocalypse shown in vigor occurred? As Norway in our world was a strong member of NATO, which means that the U.S. and the Western world would not easily allow it to switch sides to the communist bloc. The next group of evidence supporting this theory is a group of posters found on Grantium. One of the posters reads, speak the truth even when your voice is shaken, and another reads, Do, don't believe lies. This suggests the suppression of speech is occurring. The main suppressor of speech during the Cold War was the Soviets, who repressed freedoms in order to give the state more power. The state censored religion, ideas of freedom, facts concerning the Cold War, and many other facts. Now, there is another way that the communists could control Norway that is not Soviet occupation. This would be a communist uprising in Norway. However, there is not a lot of evidence to support this. The only evidence I could have that could support this would be the previous posters showing that a potential rebellion is in fact which could be supporting a communist government, as if they, the rebellion won, then the Soviets should have entered to support the rebels, and thus getting us the situation we have. Um, the only other thing I can think of that really does support this is the newspaper heavy violence erupts in the streets, and the peace revolt signs. However, I generally don't think this is how this is communist got in control of Norway. I think the rebels in shown on Grantium are actually against the communists and are trying to restore the Norwegian government. I just personally don't think the facts add up correctly. So, I'm going to wrap this up for now. If you believe the theory, then please like. And if you have any issues or support for the theory, please comment down below. Because the more you guys show us holes or support for this theory... And we can make the theory either stronger, or we can just drop it. Because if it isn't right, we shouldn't be telling people it, right? So, once again, this has been Christopher Beast from Vader Secrets and War. I'll see you all next time. Now, I'm going to say this real quick at the end of the video. Um, I'm doing editing now, and I realize I didn't really bring this up. Um, also, Vader Secrets and War. So, that's uh, me, Boba Rail. You might even see a video from William. Ask William. Pretty soon. We're working on the uh, Vader War. Uh, wiki, not just Johnson's War, just wiki in general. If you would like to help on that, please do. The, the wiki is a lot of work that needs to be done on it. And while we are willing to do a lot of work, I mean, we want to see the game do successful, have a nice community, have a nice wiki. I mean, all of that that most other games have. Um, your help, or anyone's help, would be greatly appreciated. I mean... It, the more stats, statistics, pages you guys fill in, the more time we can spend on either lore videos or working on other stats, statistics, or pages on the wiki. Um, if you have any questions about adding things to the wiki, there is a wiki discord, and there also is a video secrets in the lore discord, and there's the video official discord. Any three of these, um, we at VSL check pretty often. Just ask a question there. Say, hey VSL, hey Chris, hey Bubba Rail, do you need this added, or is this correct, or just anything? Just ask if you if you want to ask. I mean, you don't even have to. If you believe you can add something to the wiki and it's just a normal fact, and it's just like, you don't ask, right? 
But if, if you have any questions, feel free to, uh, there's many ways to reach us. Also, um, I think I mentioned this in the last video, VSL is also on Twitter. Uh, our Twitter linked in the description. Um, but uh, once again, if you did like the video, please hit a like. And uh, see you all.